Views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more. Mmm, something smells good. I wonder what Lynn's cooking today. Hey, Lynn, what cooking? Now here's your host, Lynn Austin. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hey, Lynn, What's Cooking? And now it is so cold outside, it's January. And I'm thinking warm and cozy things that make me just feel so comfortable and warm because we it's got after through the, the holidays. holidays. Yes. And we're in, it's like as soon as like the second week of January hits, it's like, oh my gosh, our bodies are telling us it's time to hibernate and we need like warm and cozy foods. So today we have red wine, which is good for your blood. Keeps you warm. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna make cheesy potatoes. Yum. And meatloaf. And I know you're gonna laugh at this, but we're making savory Brussels sprouts and nothing warms you up like Gavin. <laughs> so, you have to have a green. To yes, go with yes, that. you have to balance that all out. Get healthy. But first, you know, in my lovely Halen What's Cooking glasses. These are beautiful. I have a sweet red for you because thank you are you. sweet. Oh, thank and you. And me, not so much. I have a dry <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I have a dry red because I'm not sweet. <laughs> I, I am sweet, but I'm not sweet. But cheers to cold months, but warm thoughts that keep us through the winter months. Yes. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. Mm hmm could just take a nap with a cozy blanket, oh, and warm a socks. blanket, the fireplace going. But you know what? I'm going to get you through that, that you're going to be able to do that. But do a cheesy potato and a meatloaf. And the meatloaf is my meatloaf, which is not ground beef. It's turkey. I like so that. So you're not feeling so bad about the meat. The meat. It's turkey so it's That's good okay and we got the brussels sprouts in the screen but okay. first we're going to get started with the cheesy potatoes and what we have here are frozen cubed potatoes that we had thawed for a little bit so they're in our bowl we're just going to leave those aside but first we're going to mix our wet ingredients here so we have oops about that. <laughs> almost was a red <laughs> wine spill but we're good because we're in the kitchen okay we have a half a can of cream chicken soup. And we have our oven at 400 degrees, by the way. I just want to let you know that because we're going to put our cheesy potatoes in there. So we have cream of mushroom soup, a half a can. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice because this was cold months. Cream of chicken, right? Yes, cream of okay. chicken. And we have softened cream cheese into our cream of chicken soup, or you can use sour cream, whatever. You know, it's cold, snow, icy, whatever you have in the refrigerator, whatever works. So we're using the cream cheese. We're gonna mash that together with the soup here. You know what, I think I'm just gonna use this. And to that, this is our secret ingredient. French onion, yum. Yeah. French onion dip. My family would love that. Yes. That adds an extra flavor. Let me tell you, it is so yummy. Okay. So now we're going to add a butter. little bit of melted butter, about a half a stick, into that because, you know, we are hibernating and we need, <laughs> we need all the lovely ingredients. I didn't say all this the was low cal, but we're just going to mix this together. And it's softened cream cheese, so it mixes nice. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good with that French onion dip. Oh, yummers. And already I have taken a little cupcake tin, muffin tin, 
and I've sprayed them, but we're gonna brush some oil into there. So we're gonna make these pop out nicely. And to this mix, we're gonna add the cubed frozen potatoes, but we thawed out for a little bit. Can you smell that? Mm, yeah. That smells so good. See what this oil brushed in here a little yes. bit? Yes. Oh, can you okay. do that? Oh, yes, awesome. I will do that So they're here. sprayed, and I know they're sprayed already, but we're going to add some oil because let me tell you, they're gonna, hopefully, hopefully they'll pop out, which they usually do. But we're just going to add some extra insurance on that. Just in case. Just in case, because we don't want to have too much of a cleanup because we want to get back to the fireplace and the cozy blanket. Yes. And the glass of wine that's waiting for us. Oops. But I you know what? I would probably have a bowl of popcorn waiting for me Not for you. lunch. Not you. For lunch <laughs> with the wine, an intermission of a good movie, and coming back in here and making Sounds dinner. Good. So we're going to add these cubed potatoes, little by little, and we're going to coat them with our mixture. Uh oh, we lost one. Just throw it back did in there. Did you do a full bag of frozen? No, I did a half Just one. Just half the bag. Yeah, okay. but you know what? Depending on how many people you're having for dinner, you and then can you just play with the rest. Or you, you can put more. it if it's not individual. You can do it in a 13 by 9 inch pan okay. too, okay. and then double it like a whole can. Okay. Mmm, that smells so good. And I think I have my fan going over there behind me. I can hear, I have a fan behind me. <laughs> it's bugging <laughs> me and too. I'm going to shut that off. <laughs> oh, now I can hear myself. I always say, now I can hear myself think. Ah, okay. <laughs> and you know what? That's kind of scary because when I think it's like, whoa, the smoke go, just comes right out of my head and it's like, whoa, it's dangerous. That's our conversations. We go from one subject to the I next. I, I drive my husband I kinda, nuts. Yeah, I, I kind of scare myself. He's like, holy crap, what are they talking about? <laughs> okay. Right. But we got it though. We yes. understand each other. It's it's like, like, just as long yeah. as we understand. Yeah. That's all that matters. Okay. Oh gosh, look at that. Okay. That is Yum. like lovely. And one more thing, sharp cheddar cheese. But you know what? Whatever cheese you have. So I'm, it gets mixed in so there. So it's just kind of it. get mixed okay. in there. Yeah. Oh. And it's about a half a cup. We're all good. You know what? I'm good with measurements and like eh, whatever. Whatever works. Whatever you have in the refrigerator. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Imagine what it's going to smell like in the oven. Okay, you all don't know this, but I have bacon going in a pan behind me that's going to go in this Brussels sprouts right now. And my, my taste buds are salivating right now because <laughs> I can smell that bacon and it smells so good. Mm -hmm. But okay, that's okay. If you don't know that yet, <laughs> I'm just going to put you in on a little secret. That's what's going on behind me. Okay, so we have that mixed in the sharp cheddar cheese to the cream of chicken soup. And what else do we have in there? Do you remember? Inside here? Yeah. <laughs> we have French onion. <laughs> the wine's already kicking <laughs> in. <laughs> the French onion dip and the cream, cream cheese. cheese. But if you don't have cream cheese, you can use sour cream. Sour yes. yes. Okay. And this is like sprayed and oiled. So we're all good. And we're just going to add these to this cute, like individual little. And if you don't want to do the cutesy, cutesy little thing, you can just put it in a 13 9 inch pan, oh, you know, and just kind of... Individual's fun, though. Yeah. And we're going to stick this into a 400 degree oven. And let it do its thing. And I think I just put too much in that one, but that's okay. Now, my family, my son or my husband, would probably just take this tray and say, that's for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would sit with my little potato around and you'd have this one yeah and be like <laughs> that's not fair life is not fair but you know okay we won't go there no, no. <laughs> that's okay <laughs> it's kind of funny that's how it happens in my house let me tell you okay so we're going to set these aside mm, those are going to be so oh you know what we forgot something. The last thing we're going to do is put 
whatever chips, crackers you have in the pantry, because it is January, and you know, you know what, going to the store, Do you sometimes mix those with that? No, we're going to nope. drizzle okay. that on top. Okay. We're going to, I have crushed potato chips. We're going to add to the top. I didn't say it was low cal. <laughs> okay, I did not say, and that's why it's kind of good because it's proportion controlled. And we're just going to drizzle some melted butter. So you just kind of. Yeah. Do you want a brush or drizzle? I want a brush. I'd love okay. to brush. Oh, Yum. look at there. And these are going to go into a 400 degree oven for about maybe 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. Those are going to be yum. This is fun. Isn't that fun? And cooking with your girlfriend and this. Yeah. You know what? Have your girlfriend come over yeah. and stay for the day. And if it's snowy and cold, sleep over. Just bring yeah. a bag. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're good because we're having fun in the kitchen. And those are going to go into the oven. Oh, my goodness. And this smells lovely. Okay. So now we did our cheesy potatoes. We are going to move on to our savory Yes, we have to go a little bit healthy. Our Brussels sprouts. And I love Brussels sprouts because they're just cute little mini cabbages. Here they are. They're just so I've never so cooked cute. Brussels sprouts, so this will be really? my first time. I love, oh my gosh, I love to like boil them, steam them, and I can just eat them like. <laughs> I love them. Maybe it'll okay, be a new favorite. But to my pan back here, I have some bacon. Bacon. That is sauteing. And I have some onion that I have chopped. We're just going to add to that. So we have bacon and onion. And then we're going to cut these lengthwise, okay. Okay. like this way. So we're going to add those to there in a couple seconds. And a little bit more onion to my pan. And I don't know what it is about onion and bacon. Like, ugh. Combining good. together and sauteing, it just like makes, like I said, it makes your mouth water. It's just so delicious. We're just going to stick this in this pan back here. Oh my goodness. Okay. And on this cutting board, we have, well, first we have some water waiting because we're going to put some water in the Brussels sprouts after a few seconds. So we have the bacon and the onion. And we have some Brussels sprouts. And look at, they're just like mini cabbages. Mm -hmm. You've really never cooked? Never. Never. Never? Mm -hmm. Ever? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're going to slice these like so. So you don't cut this top part No, off we leave them. You leave that. Leave okay. them. I leave them. Because I love cabbage. And all Brussels sprouts are, are just mini little cabbages. And I'm telling you, the warm months, it's okay to have a little bit of cabbage and a little bit of greenery. You should have greens mm -hmm. all the time. Oh, yes. But I think cabbage is a vegetable that's good for the colder months. Do they? I love cabbage. Okay, I love cabbage. Oh, and so, that cabbage soup. We love that cabbage oh, soup gosh, we yes. make with the tomatoes. And we're just going to add these to the pan that has our sautéed bacon. <laughs> You're moving away with my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you add the greens are healthy, but add it to bacon. <laughs> add it to bacon and onions okay. that are sautéing. I'm fine. You still have the them. greens in there. It doesn't matter. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of water that's going to tenderize these Brussels sprouts. Okay. And we're going to add a lid to that and a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we're going to move on to our meatloafs. And we're not going to make a big meatloaf in a pan. We're just going to make cute little meatloafs, but you can put it in a big pan if you wanted to. It's okay. It's okay. I do. We're almost done. You can also steam these if you don't want to do the bacon. You can just steam them plain with a little bit of salt and pepper and just eat them like that because I love. I think the bacon would taste better. Oh, well, everything <laughs> tastes better with bacon. Bacon is like this. It's like, okay, bacon is like ketchup to hot dog. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you think? Yes, I agree. 
like bacon, everything tastes better with bacon, like <sighs> butter with toast, bacon with everything. And then add a little onion to it. Oh, yeah, it's onion. even better. Well, yeah. my family would be a gallon of onions. if my Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your family loves raw onions. Uh-huh. I unfortunately can't do raw onion because of a medical migraine problem. Yes. But I love raw onions. I love the smell of raw onions. Okay. We are going to move these on here, and we're going to add these to this pan. Look at how cute they are. They're just so cute. Okay. Move that to our pan that is sauteing with our onions and our bacon. Mm. Oh. Yum. Okay, we're going to add those to there and let them fry up a little bit. You know what? I am going to add a little bit. Paula, can you pass me that oil right over there? Mm -hmm. A little bit of our oil, and in a few minutes, I'm going to add some water and let them steam. But right now, I'm going to add a little bit of pepper, fresh ground pepper. I'm just going to put the whole thing in there. Okay. And some salt. And we're going to let them saute for a minute. And then we're going to add some water. And we're going to let them steam for their fork tender. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, doesn't it smell good? And our cheesy potatoes are going in mm -hmm. our oven. Look at how pretty they look. Add a little bit more oil to that. That's canola so you oil. You can use, you know what? No, I'm going to say canola oil because I don't want um, the olive oil in there. I just want canola oil in there. Okay, we're going to lower that for a second and let that do its wonder. Okay. Now we are going to move on to these delicious. Okay. They're turkey. They're turkey because over the years, I cannot handle ground beef. I can't either. Like whole ground That's beef. Good. I can handle a little bit of ground beef like in my meatballs or my meatloaf, but today it's just all ground meatloaf. Okay. I mean, yeah, ground, ground turkey. turkey meatloaf. <laughs> Thank you. It's the wine that's kicking right. in, but that's okay. Um, so we're going to make these, but you can make it in, in a big pan or you can okay. make it in small pans, which I have these which little have right cute here. little small pans, and we're going to oil them. Where did I just put that? Oh, oh I put it over it. here. Okay. I'm too quick. I, you're like quick. <laughs> I have sprayed mm -hmm. them already with cooking spray. But I am going to oil them a little bit because, you know, our turkey doesn't have a lot of fat in it. Right. So we don't want it to, to it's stick. Too dry. Yeah, and dry, too exactly. Okay. Dry. So we want to try to balance out that. Do I have that little brush over there? Can you pass me um, that brush? Right here. And if you don't have these pans, you can use a 13 by 9 inch pan or a bread loaf pan, whatever size meatloaf you want to make. So we're gonna, just going to coat that with the canola oil. That. Like so. I love how you use the brushes and stuff. It's like painting in the kitchen. Oh, I love it. It's like, you know, I, I try it. to think that I'm artistic. Oh, well, yes. You know, but, you know, like in the kitchen I am. I'm really, I can't draw. I mean, get me on... Um, that game, what is that game? Pictionary. Pictionary? Or, oh. <laughs> Nobody wants me So on we should team. play that the next Nobody time. Wants <laughs> Nobody wants me on the team, but if you get me with a brush, I'm good, like painting the sides of a pan, <laughs> but it's stick figures all the way for Pictionary, let me tell you. Okay. So we have those. Those are nicely oiled and sprayed. Just going to move that over here. Now, this is our ground turkey. And to our ground, do we have the little baggies? Oh, yep. Okay, to our ground turkey, we have one egg, like depending on how big you want to make it. I mean, this is like, like maybe like a pound of ground turkey. And of course, if you double it, then you would have two eggs. But I put an egg in there to kind of, we're going to play. We're going to play like Play-Doh. Okay, and they're painting Play-Doh. 
And to that, we have seasoned breadcrumbs. I like to add seasoned breadcrumbs to my meatloaf. Okay, now remember, this is ground turkey, so I'm trying to add as many ingredients to flavor it as possible and to try to trick the family, because trust me, they had no clue the first time I made turkey meatloaf that it was ground turkey. Okay, now this is our favorite ingredient. I kill the name of this ingredient every time because I'm Polish and I'm not dissing any Polish people, but I am Polish and Italian. Worcestershire. Worcestershire <laughs> sauce. You can say Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. We're going to say Worcestershire sauce. And After I you've love had this in my meatloaf. Wine, I you can say it. whatever you want. Yes, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> it doesn't okay. matter. Okay. And to that, we have either, okay. You can use tomato sauce, okay. but if there's a snowstorm and you don't have a lot of ingredients in the pantry and you have, oh my gosh, I have tomato soup. Pour tomato soup in there. You're cool. It's all good. It's the same thing. That's where I have problems. I, oh, I just don't use your imagination. Just let, let, out let it, it go. Just so have fun. Good, good okay. to know. You know what? Should we add water to the well, we got you <laughs> or? Yes, we So they don't. Yeah. We should add yes. some water to that. Okay. And we're going to let that have some simmer time. It's like a sauna. We're going to kick it up a little bit. A little? Put halfway on. I don't put the whole lid on. I put like halfway. That? Yep. Okay. We're going to kick it up a little bit. Nice. And to this, we're going to add some sharp cheddar cheese or whatever cheese you have. Or if you don't have cheese and it's cold and icky outside, then don't put any cheese. Parmesan cheese, whatever. Use your whatever imagination. You okay. Make it your recipe. It's right. yours. Uh-oh. I put a piece of cheese <laughs> on there, but that's okay. Thank you. Okay. So now, Paula, we get to have some fun okay. in the meatloaf like we're building a sandcastle. And we're going to mix this. Let's dig in here with you. Oh, there's no room for you're both gonna, of us, but that's all right. Stuff on my hand, but that's okay. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all. We're having fun in the kitchen, and we're gonna get back to the glass of wine and mm -hmm. watch a movie and have some popcorn and put this in the oven. And our cheesy potatoes are going, and our Brussels sprouts are going on the stove. And I know what you would do. You just dig in here. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't use the plastic <laughs> gloves. I would just be all over this with my naked hands uh -huh, and just go in uh -huh. there and just have fun because I don't have a problem with that. But some people I know have problems with that, but that's okay. Name any names. Okay. I know. I'm not going to name any names. But we are going to put these in the cute little pans. So just mix this all up. And we're going to place them into these pans like so. And this, with the smaller pan, see I'm already using my naked hands, um, it cuts down the cooking time. And this should be like for one person, but my family, <laughs> I have to cook this massive meatloaf. <laughs> well, you have to do leftovers It looks like a Fred too. Flintstone type meatloaf <laughs> that's put on the table. If, if I just gave this, <laughs> this meatloaf to my husband, he would be like... <laughs> Okay, what did I know I do there's wrong? more coming. <laughs> yeah, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Why am I'm I being, being rationed? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm being yeah. rationed on my meatloaf. Mm -hmm. But that, you know, this is just, you know. Is just, that enough? In, that that is there? perfect. Okay. And we're going to put the rest of it in here. And we're going to cook these on, well, we're just going to throw them in the 400 degree oven. That's fine. Because we have our cheesy potatoes going. You're going to add that to that one? Or no, this one needed this more. One. Yeah, just kind of divide it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> My earring just fell. As long as you don't bake that. <laughs> yeah. That good. would not be good. <laughs> you are that good. That would not be good. You can tell I'm doing a show because I normally wouldn't be cooking with earrings on in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put these 375 or 400 degree oven, but you have your cheesy potatoes going at 400 degrees. So we're going to stick those in the oven. And look at how yummy those are, but we're not done with them yet because I will tell you what we're going to mix to put on top of them in a second. And our Brussels sprouts are going. Oh my goodness, yum! Those cheesy potatoes are going. 
Okay. So when those meatloafs come out, after about maybe 30 to 40 minutes, they're going to look like this, but not exactly like that yet, because we are going to add, if you wouldn't mind passing me a bowl, thank you, my secret ingredient of brown sugar and just plain old ketchup. We're gonna mix that together. This is the secret sauce. Let's see. I love it. And that is gonna make a beautiful glaze on top of your meatloaf. But in my house, of course, there always has to be one problem person that doesn't like the glaze. So oh, no. on half of the meatloaf, I'm gonna stick my earring over here. Um, it's bugging me because I know <laughs> you all can see that I have one earring in. Okay. I'm going to wipe my hands because you don't want to get grossed out that I'm touching that. Um, they don't like the secret glaze. So I have to have half of the meatloaf without the glaze and half the meatloaf with the glaze. Everybody's that's a critic. <laughs> that's my favorite part. I love this. And it's so, so simple. Look at that. So you don't put that on until it's Until it's for a almost bit. done. It's like the last five minutes of your meatloaf that that will go on. Okay. So if you're having, if you're having a 13 by nine inch pan meatloaf, like a two footballs together, then that's going for over an hour. Okay. okay. And make sure your pan is well oiled and sprayed. And then sometimes I will add to it, if it's a big meatloaf, I will add a little bit of white wine to that. Mm. Okay. Yum. And then the last five minutes I will add this glaze. So that's what that is on top of these delicious meatloafs, like so. And then our cheesy potatoes are going. And I'm not too sure if they're all the way done yet or not, but I will check. And then we will do a toast to those cold winter days. Yes. Yes. Oh, and our, oh, I almost forgot our Brussels sprouts. Oh, oh my they gosh. smell amazing. I just want to bring these over here and then mm. I'm going to return them over to the, the flame here in a second. Because they're not quite tender yet. But that is what our Brussels sprouts look like with the bacon, the onions, and the Brussels sprouts, and the salt and pepper. Do you want me to till they're fork tender? Then they come off. And they will be delicious along with the cheesy potatoes. How long do you think that takes? To About cook? 20, 25 minutes. Okay. So that'll be all done. And then our cheesy potatoes. I would say that these are going to be done in another five minutes, but those... Oh, they're looking good. Look at the potato chips on top of there. Mmm. Oh smell, my gosh. Smell delicious. They smell, and that, that, what was the secret ingredient? <laughs> French onion. French <laughs> onion dip. Awesome. And if you don't have that, you can use sour cream. Yes. Plain old sour cream, and then you would just put, like, dried onions in there. Okay. But the you know what? Just more. have fun with it. Paula, Thank you for braving the elements of the weather for coming into my kitchen. Thank you for having me. And having fun this cold January month and cooking a warm and cozy meal that will get you through those chilly nights. Let's and get our cozy pants on. Let's and get our com enjoy the yes, meal. comfy <laughs> pants and wine and a lovely meal. And happy January, everybody. Cheers. Bye bye.